Hello, Virgo. This is Miss Kelly. Welcome to Lover's Lane. And I am coming to you with a mini love read. Just getting an overview of your energy, how you're feeling about your person, what your person would like you to know, how they're feeling. So, feel like it's time for you to take time to breathe out. I feel like you've been holding a lot of stuff in Virgo, yeah, in your head a lot. Um, I feel like you had very big dreams with goals. Um, and I feel like you felt like in this connection you had with this person. Um, excuse me, guys. Um, sorry about that. Um, but right now you're going through a transformation. Um, I feel like you could be dealing with a Capricorn. And the reason that I say this is because it's like you all may be mirroring each other. Because Capricorn had one of the same cards that you have. Which is your silence is destroying me. Which is something that your person wants you to know. That you've maybe gone silent on this person. And it's killing them. I feel like you're sitting back and you're observing. You're just watching. You're trying to see what's going to happen. Um, but I feel like, you know, there has to be a compromise made within this situation. Um, now, let's be clear here with earth signs. They're all not too big on compromising, but there's some judgment that's coming. It's a decision, it's a final decision that's going to be made. And someone's going to have to live with it. Okay, we have messages. Queen of Wands. So, this is either you or your person has someone on the side. But this, I feel like this could be you. You may be showing, you know, you may find out that there's another person on the thing. Hmm. We have the star card. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. But I feel like you're not going to give up. You're not going to give up. Even though you feel like this this person has done this to you before. Then we have, um, you know, you're staying hopeful that things are going to work itself out. Um, or this could be... You know, that also you and a child may not be getting along. Um, with this page of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. But I feel like you've been very upfront with someone about how you're feeling about certain things that you may have seen. I feel like you're being very blunt. Um... Then we have some Queen of Swords energy. But let's get into this transformation. So again, not giving up. Even though you felt like you've been backstabbed. Ooh. Backstabbed and betrayed multiple times. Look how that came out. And then this wanted to come out. Three of Pentacles. Teamwork. But also third party. Look at this. Because right behind it is what? By the Wands. So... You feel like that this person, whoever this Queen of Wands is, has been competition for you for some time now. And I feel like you may have thought that things had transformed between you guys, you and your person. But some way or another, this person keeps popping back in. Um, let's see. Observer. Let's get the cards for Observer. Observer. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Whatever it is that you're seeing or you saw, it has you very stuck in your head. And look, King of Wands. So whoever this is, they're a match. I don't know if this King of Wands is your person. <laughs> but they are clearly a match with this Queen of Wands. But again, this could be you as well. You take the energy and the story how you choose, how, how it resonates. 
But definitely wanted to team up. Definitely third party situation because we're the three of fours right here behind it. And I feel like there was some immature called communication. Uh, maybe some text messaging that was going on that you see that this person is making plans to move forward. There go that Capricorn energy. Again, I said you could have been dealing with a Capricorn. That this person has some type of bind or tie with this person. And it's true that they want to really work on the situation with whoever this person is. Let's see here. Let's get one more card. And that's crazy. All of your first two cards come out in the upright. And then your last, your third card comes out in the reverse. In both sets. So let's see how this comes out. Eight of Swords, King of Wands. Hmm. Hmm. Three of Cups, Judgment again. Hot damn. You going to sit that right there where you belong, baby. Yeah, I'm going to sit that right there. Judgment. So you're trying to gain a different, gain a, a new perspective on this situation. I feel like you're not necessarily feeling how this person um, is feeling towards you. They're trying to make a compromise. big goals when it comes to your career so I feel like you may be focusing on trying to focus on your career and your goals to keep your mind off of this situation alright tell me my heart cried out for you it's from your person it's too many Okay, wanting to heal the situation. So your person would like to heal the situation, but uh, they feel exhausted. They feel like that they've put in a lot of work into this situation when it comes to you. But they feel like nothing, yeah. They're tired of being alone. They're tired of being alone. So they could be with you. That's what would make them happy. They gotta feel like they're alone. You're meant to be. Hmm. But I feel like this person is letting go. Yeah. I feel like they feel like that you or them, that they're maturing. They are blossoming into who they want to be. They are looking at things from this hangman's perspective. They're looking at things from a different perspective. They want more. Um, unfortunately, I feel like this person may feel like that they can't attain this with you. If they was to stay with you. But there is some sort of tie that bounds you two together. Alright, so let's see. We're going to clarify. Hold on, just this card here. These cards flipped over. Um, look, what's going on? Alright. I'm gonna see what's up with this king of wands. This king of wands. Let's see what's up with this three of cups. And six of pentacles. So let's see. So I feel like you don't want to give and receive with this person anymore. You're not giving up, but you just need, I feel like you need a break. Yeah. Tell me about this Queen of Wands, please. Queen of Wands. Hmm. Three of Pentacles on the reverse. So... This queen of wands, so you no longer want to team or collaborate with this person. Look, this came out in the reverse at first. Let's see what it says. Ooh. So you no longer want to work things out with this Gemini. Or the Gemini may not want to work things out with you. Take the energy how it resonates. 
but I feel like you no longer want to invest. Yeah, look at this. Page of Pentacles, because you want to remain single. Well, this Gemini wants to remain single. See? Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. So I feel like you and this person is on a long-term relationship. Six of Pentacles reverse, please. But I do want to see what this judgment is about. And we going for them. And Queen of Cups. So, yeah. You may feel like this Queen of Cups. Um, or this could be you. Or this could be how your person is saying this other person. But there's clearly three parties here. There are three people here. And we done had that clarified quite a few times. So there's three people here in this situation. So this Queen of Cups, I feel like this is either you or this is either, this is the other person. So I feel like maybe this person, your person feels like this Queen of Cups is a bit more nurturing. They may not wear their heart on their sleeves yet. And they may want to take a new beginning with this person. And you definitely see them as competition. Um, and you may not know that they're actually pursuing this person. So the transformation could be within between your person and this other person, this third party. Um, hmm. Let's see what's going on with this King of Wands. Because we all know he busy. You see, he can't sit still. That's why he ain't sitting in that chair. Think about this King of Wands, please. Mm. King of Souls. More Gemini energy. Air energy. That's Libra as well. Um, then we have the Four Souls. So, this... Uh, ooh. This King of Swords. I mean, it's uh, King of Wands. Mmm. Wheel of Fortune, moving forward, and we have the five. So I feel like you feel like this person is doing petty things when it, to you. Um, could be trying. You feel like they try to win. They do any. They do. They will do whatever they have to do to win, to win the argument, to win the debate. You know, it's just you feel like whatever it is they feel like they need to do in order to be right, they will do it. Yeah. Again, Capricorn energy with this Three of Cups. Then we have this Knight of Wands. So, um, you feel like this person, yeah, third party energy. And you feel like this is something that have, they have been bound to for a long time. Um, you feel like this is something that they can't shake. They might have always, in some way, had you feeling like you've always been in a third party situation. Let's see. Judgment. Why is judgment here? This came out by itself, but I want to know why it's here. So I know it's about judgment. The Virgo. Mmm. On secrets. Secrets of possible affairs. No so judgment is coming. Yeah. And just someone's gonna be standing their ground or trying to fight to keep these secrets hidden. Let's see. Let me get one more for the seven of wands. I mean, your read was pretty cut and dry, Virgo. You definitely right now out there dealing with some third party energy. And look, uh, when we have the Emperor. The Emperor, we have justice. Ooh, so I feel like maybe your child's father, in a way, feel like the best way to balance things out is to kind of leave you out in the cold. Um, will you feel like your child's father left you out in the cold? I have a little bit more time, you Pretty, pretty much straight to the point. Let's see. But I 
feel like you're trying to find your peace, Virgo. You gonna look. I want my peace at all costs. Like, I need peace. <laughs> I don't have anything else yet. You're focused on right now trying to reinvent yourself. Um, it's a Mercury retrograde. I feel like you feel like that you, um, you don't want to be caught left. What I was going to say, you don't want to be caught left um, or left caught with your pants down. You know what I'm saying? Look. I transform more transformation, scorpionic energy could be done with the Scorpio, or you could have Scorpio in your chart. Um, you are in your element. You're right now focused on your stability here. And you don't want to get caught slipping with this 10th house and we have the world. So something is coming to completion. And again, you're transforming. Ooh, very... So you have a lot going on in your chart right now. You have a lot going on in your chart right now. Scorpio, Aries, Libra. Um, you know, a new cycle is beginning. And I feel like you do not want to be caught, uh, what they say, caught slipping. You ain't trying to get caught slipping. <laughs> As they would say, um... Let's see what affirmation you have. Affirmation, then we're going to get advice, and then we out. Affirmation, we have the Virgo. So we have two Virgo. So we have that you are protected. Imagine being washed over by magical waters that cleanse and protect you. Set your intentions and move forward without fear. If you are fully protected, what can stop you? That's right, nothing. So the only person that's going to stop you from moving forward in this situation, Virgo, is you. You have all the power. It is healthy to honor and express your emotions through any medium you choose, art, writing, etc. Understanding and respecting your moods and emotions leads you to greater levels of emotional maturity and self-discovery. Okay? And let's see what advice Rebel has for you, Virgo. So it's time for you to start making plans. And then maybe, you know, you need to start some good shit is about to happen. Don't let your issues fuck it up. Stop talking. Shut your mouth and listen. So there's some information that you're getting. But they want you, spirit wants you to be quiet. Let this person talk. Because, you know, a lot of times, especially if you all are in conflict and you all are angry, truth is spoken in those moments. You know, a person can say, oh, I said it because I was mad. No, that's how you truly felt. It's dark and you can't see a fucking thing. Get your head out your ass pronto. You need some fucking yoga in your life. Okay? So... This is the message I have for you. This is days that I, this is the advice um, that Spirit has for you for what you're going through right now, Virgo. Um, I feel like you can overcome this situation. I just say definitely make sure that you're planning. Make sure that you're planning, um, and make sure that you're planning to, um, you know, make things stable for yourself. And that you're not, um, you're not getting ready to get caught slipping. You know what I mean? Like, don't sit and say, oh, I thought we were going to work out. So I didn't plan for this. No. I know they say, you know, in some situations they say don't have a plan B. But when it comes to you and your children's stability, yes, have a plan B. You have to have a plan B. Or just make sure that you have some money set aside, you know what I mean, stack your dough and save, especially if you see certain things in you right now, that's the energy you're in, you're sitting back and you're watching, so you need to be making sure that you're saving every dime and dollar that you have, okay, so that's my message for you for your mini love read, it was wonderful reading your energy verbs. 
this too shall pass. Don't get overwhelmed. Do some yoga. Ain't that what it says? Do some yoga, do some yoga, do some yoga. Yeah, some yoga. Ancient shit is cool. So I will see you guys in the next read. If you would like to donate to the channel, please, you can find that information below. If you would like to book a personal reading, you can find that information below as well. Um, I am going to start doing extenders on Patreon once I get the channel where I want it to be. Um, and I feel like we have enough viewers. So, we'll see you guys in the next one. But, you know, birds, come on now. Y'all earth, y'all strong, y'all determined. Don't let nothing hold you back. You know, just like you're hurting, this person is hurting too. Don't feel like you're alone. See you guys in the next read. Peace.